Hey guys, it is Vivius. Welcome back to another video. Um, now, this is going to be a fast quest guide series for the brand new quest, The Mighty Fall. So, to begin the quest, you want to head over to Lumbridge and climb through the crack in, uh, in the door near the recipe for disaster chest, um, obviously in the dungeon of the Lumbridge Castle. And then you want to make your way to Dorgish Khan. So obviously right click the dude that just stood there near the, I think it's the brooch or whatever it's called, and hit follow, and then run south, and then make your way um, through the immediate, or make your way up the immediate ladder there, and you want to speak to, you want to speak to a guy called Ertag, who will be stood really, really close to you, and have a little chat with him too, and then you want to accept the quest. So once you've accepted the quest, uh, teleport to Lumbridge through the use of the Lumbridge Lodestone, and what you have to do is run south, and then a little bit southwest until you come across a tree. Now you do need a light source for this, so I do really recommend um, bringing like a sapphire lantern, or just a candle if you have one, and make sure you light the candle. Um, but you're going to be going into the Lumbridge Swamp, so you want to make your way southwest for the Lumbridge Swamp, and then you want to go down this little tree looking thing like you've, you've seen on screen. And then what you want to be doing is, you want to run uh, a little bit south, so initially you want to run south, and then there are like a bunch of trolls down there, so obviously if there's trolls down there, you've done something correct. Um, and then every time you speak to a troll, they'll, t they'll keep telling you to run east, but you don't actually have to speak to trolls. So just keep running east until you come across General Grador. Um, so have a little chat to him, uh, scroll through all the text, and then all you have to be choosing, I think you can just choose whatever your options you want, but I think I chose the third option firstly, and then it gives you a bunch of other options, so make sure, so make sure you scroll through all of these options to uh, obviously complete the quest, and then once you've done that, choose more options, and more options, and more options, and more options, scroll through some text, um, unless you obviously want to read it, I had to read it because this was, uh, I had no quest guide to help me out with this one, but you can read it if you want, it's quite an interesting story, so be sure to read that if you want to, if you're interested in the story. But you'll meet Zerador, and uh, if you don't actually know where Zerador is, he's north of Falador as well, so I'll be showing you guys where that is very, very shortly. So once you've had a chat to uh, General Grador and Zerado and his old Titsmiggy friends, you want to teleport back to uh, Lumbridge and then go through the near, near the chest, like the crack in the wall again, and make make your way back to Dorgesh Khan. And you want to be speaking to Ertag once again, and you'll have a little cutscene and stuff, and you'll speak to Zanik, who will then relocate to north of Falador. You then want to use the Falador Lodestone and run north until you find like the Green Portal, which is located east of the Goblin Village. And then have a little chat to Zanik, who is near the portal, and ask him, um, ask him, what do you mean dying? Uh, followed by go on, and then choose a second option, and scroll through the text until you complete the chat. So now I recommend getting some combat gear to kill a level 140 human, so obviously level 140 human isn't too difficult to uh, defeat. Now throughout the, I think it's called uh, Ubisk, is the actual other place where you're going to be completing this quest. Um, there are multiple bank chests, so you can either uh, use any bank chest you would like in uh, Gilinor, or you can always go, um, obviously, to in, inside Ubisk and use one of the bank chests there. It's up to you, but I do recommend getting some combat gear. Um, I used your Chaotix, but you can really use whatever gear you want, because they really aren't too difficult. But uh, make sure you do not use any familiars, because later in the quest you are actually disallowed familiars. So there really isn't any point using summoning. Um, obviously, there's no point summoning one and then dismissing it uh, soon after. So once you've entered the green portal, you want to speak to the, God, uh, the goblin matred and scroll through all the text. And then next, you want to run around the ledge and climb up the ladder there. And then follow the path southeast and speak with the big um, the big general called uh, Zerado, who is uh, not even... I, I think he's a new, like, I think he's a new Bandozin boss. But uh, all you want to do is scroll through the text with him. For the next part, you have to run down the path to the southwest. I don't actually show it in the video, I don't think. Uh, but you have to climb down another ladder and then climb down like a little pit into the cave. And then all you have to do is speak to my arm. But this little ditch is actually um, called, uh, quote unquote, your map. No, your camp. So if you're ever lost, just open up your map and look for the era, area called my map. So it's just a little, it's like a little ditch thing. It's, it took me a little while to find, but it really isn't that, it really isn't that difficult to uh, locate. So you want to scroll through the text with my arm and choose the first option three times and then choose do you know who my first opponent is followed by enough questions. So at this stage you'll find out that you actually have to fight Yelps first and there's only three boss fights in this quest so it's really really easy. Um, but he is a bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to explain you know how to do the, do the bosses later on in the quest guide. 
But essentially, when you finish the chat with my arm, a level 140 human will appear. So just have, you just have to kill him real quick. He's really, really easy. He doesn't have... I don't think he hit anything on me. So he is really, really simple to defeat. And you're going to have to kill a couple more level 140s um, very, very shortly in the quest. So make sure you keep all your armor and your weapons and stuff onto you. Um, you want to head back to Zerada now, so go back the way you just came and speak with him. And he'll essentially tell you that there are five human spies disguised as goblins. So you essentially run around speaking to goblins and finding out pretty much if they're, disgui if they're human disguises or not. So I just ran around and punched all the goblins in their faces pretty much. Uh, because this is different for everybody. I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure the different goblins are humans for different players. So um, there's no point telling me which goblins, obviously, I killed. Obviously... You'll see on screen which goblins I have a chat to and which humans I kill because what you have to do is you have to speak to goblins. I think you get um, given three different options. So you want to scroll through the options until you get given the option to either accuse the goblin that is a human disguise or he's, or you can just leave him alone as a goblin. But I recommend accusing all the goblins you, uh, you find as humans because it just makes things much easier. So just accuse them all and punch them all in the face or just kill the humans. It's up to you. I think you, you get a mul you get a limited amount of um, accusers which are incorrect, but I didn't run into the I didn't run into that problem at all. So just run around and uh, accuse all the goblins of being humans and just kill them all. So like I said before, you have to kill the five humans, and then you want to make your way back to Zerador. So for this next part, you actually have to kill Yelps. Um, now he is a bit of a pain in the butt. But essentially, all you have to do is avoid his spinning attacks, and the only way to deal damage to him is by killing the minions. Now, I used uh, Vo I'm pretty sure I used Vo No, I used um, Bandos and a Tetsu Helm with Chaotix. Oh, no, with Drygors. But you really don't need that overkill gear. You could probably do it with, um, obviously, Bandos or if you have a little bit of lesser tier armor. Or you could do it with Chaotix. I would I would have found Chaotix quite easy to do it with. But there was one thing to note when, um, you know, when I was doing the quest, I actually didn't realize that when um, Yelp spins around, he actually throws coins on the floor. Wherever he throws coins, that is where he's going to be spinning next. So basically, if you see coins on the floor, don't click on the coins at all. Um, just avoid the coins completely and you'll be able to do it quite easily. Now, I took a lot of damage while doing Yelps because I didn't actually know that that was an occurrence. So make sure um, you take that into consideration. But you actually you have to kill those um, minions bef before you even attack Yelps. Otherwise, you can't actually do any deal. You can't actually deal any damage to him. So make sure you do that. And I also recommend bringing an Adrenaline Potion and a Shield to get defensive abilities like Barricade because obviously with Barricade, you don't take any damage and you can just, you can you can essentially camp inside his little shield thing and you can just do some damage to him um, if you've killed all the minions. But basically, just run around avoiding his attacks and focus on killing his minions and then unleash your Threshold and Ultimates and when they're dead, just deal as much damage as possible to Yelps. And he does have 200,000 life points, but your damage cap is at 10,000. So the fight isn't overly long. They've trying to just increase the life points to make him more scary. Um, but if you were to die by any chance, which I died once because I was using Void, and um, I really didn't know what I was doing the first time around, your grave will spawn just outside the green portal near Xanax. So the best way to reach your grave is by using the Foul Elder Lodestone and then running north. So once you've defeated Yelps, it doesn't really matter whether you kill him or spare him. Uh, I killed him because it was absolute pain throughout the fight. So YOLO! Uh, when you kill Yelps, though, make your way back to Zanuck uh, by using the Fallow Lodestone or running back through um, Ubius. I'm not even sure what it's called, and speak with him. But scroll through all of his options and make your way back to Zerador. Now, for the next box fight, you have, you have to call a guy called YOLO, and you have to bank all of your armor except your weapons. So use the bank right next to Zerador, or you can use the one southeast, and uh, bring bring nothing but weapons. I tried to sneak in a max cape and, a, and, a, and an amulet and stuff, um, but make sure you bring nothing but weapons, food, offensive buffing potions, which is obviously the overload or, su or super sets or extreme sets is up to you. And uh, you want to bring some prayer as well, just in case you run out of prayer. But essentially for LOL or LOL, uh, you have to avoid his throwing attacks. And whenever he throws a rock at you, just move one square. Because after about 8 or so rocks have been thrown, they will explode dealing damage. So it's best to cluster the rocks together so there really isn't any room to hide when they explode. And on the whole, it's pretty easy boss. So just choose to kill or spare LOL. It's up to you. I, I, I think I spared him because he was a pretty easy boss. So, you know, it's about my... Uh, it's more of an eth ethical thing, a personal ethical thing.
But after speaking with Zerada, once you've killed LOL, uh, he'll give you a Zurage in which you need to learn how to use. So to learn how to use it, make your way back to Zanuck. And all you have to do is have a little chat to him and scroll through some of his options. And he will essentially show you how to use the weapon. So he just basically, there's like a little cutscene that, that occurs and you instantly learn how to use the weapon, which is fantastic. But for the boss fight against Grado, you can't actually bring in any weapons. The weapon you have to use is the uh, Zuraj. I'm not even sure if it's called the Zuraj, but let's just hope it is. But you want to be using two-handed abilities. So set up your ability bar um, likewise. So get some, obviously, two-handed abilities on there with some thresholds and some ultimates regarding uh, two-handed swords. But I do recommend using Berserker as well because the increased damage really does um, speed the boss fight up. So I do recommend using Berserk as it, defensive doesn't really matter in this fight. It's more about um, tactics. So you have to watch out when Bandos does his special attack in which he destroys the brown colored ledges around the area. Now, if you actually get caught um, in one, one of these attacks, you will actually you will die instantly. So it's important, it's important to avoid these attacks. So he basically just like crack the rocks on the outside by putting his stick into the ground. Um, and he, he yells something, I'm not sure what he yells, but he'll yell something and then he'll crack one of the rocks away and you'll instantly die if you get caught up in one of those. But every now and again, I don't know what it is, I don't know how to avoid it, but he will actually hit about 3k. Well, he was hitting 3k on me, so make sure you keep your health as high as possible because there is high potential that he will just smack you a 3k. So it is really, really important throughout this boss fight to keep your health um, as high as possible. But uh, just keep running around and staying clear of the brown ledges pretty much, and he's a pretty simple boss. Just use, you know, use, use your thresholds and use your basics and stuff to build up your adrenaline, and you should be able to kill him quite quickly. So once Grador is dead, that's basically the quest complete. So all you have to do is speak to uh, Zanuck, who is right next to Zerador, and uh, you actually have to go back to Dorgas Khan and speak to Ertag to complete the quest. Now, once you've completed the quest, you can actually add a Bando's Hilt to the Zurag, and it increases the stats on it. So, you know, that's always an option for you guys if you want to do that. But uh, that's basically the quest, guys. Hopefully they did enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.